Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today we're going to show you how to use dual mode to control an LED on two assembly devices. Dual mode allows you to utilize assembly to assembly communication as well as assembly for mobile functionality simultaneously on the same device. This is useful for displaying data from or sending commands to multiple assembly devices using a single app interface. I have with me the assembly development kit, number RFD77803, my mobile device, and my laptop. Let's get started. For this example, we'll use the USB shield, two LED button shields, two assembly breakout boards, and a AAA battery shield. Let's take a look at the code. First, we'll take a look at the host sketch. Since we'll be using both the Simbly for Mobile and Simbly BLE functionality, we'll include both header files. Next, we'll define a few variables that correlate to the pins on our LED button shield, as well as variables to hold our Simbly for Mobile object IDs. Our setup function merely configures our pins and Simbly for Mobile, so we'll skip right to the loop function. First, we'll check if our on button has been pressed. If so, we'll make sure the user hasn't just held down the button, but released it in between presses. If both of these requirements are met and the LED isn't currently on, we'll turn it on and update the Simbly for Mobile interface. We also need to make sure to set read on button to true. If the on button isn't pressed, we'll set the read on button variable back to zero until the next button press. We'll do the same thing for the off button. Lastly, we need to make sure to add the simply for mobile that process function call to the end of the loop function. Let's check out the UI function. Of course, we'll start with the simply for mobile that begin using the background color that I defined at the top of the sketch. Next, we'll draw our LED rect rectangle and the text that goes inside it. We'll use the LED status variable to determine the default colors and text values. Before we call simply for mobile that end screen. We'll use the set events function so we can control our LED from the app. We'll catch the event underscore release event so we know that the user touched the button and released their finger. Let's move on to the UI underscore event function. No matter what element is touched, either the rectangle or the text, we'll change the status of our LED and update the mobile interface. Cool, let's check out the simply for mobile on connect and simply for mobile on disconnect function. They're both really simple, calling simply begin and simply end, respectively. Next, we'll look at the dual mode callback functions, simply BLE on dual mode start and simply BLE on dual mode end. When we start dual mode, we'll send the current LED status. That way, the slave node will always have the most updated status. For this sketch, we don't need anything in simply BLE on dual mode end, but you can add something there if you'd like. Next, we'll look at the last function in this sketch, simplycom on receive. In case we change the LED status by using the buttons on the slave node, we'll update everything on our master. That's it for this sketch. Let's take a quick look at the slave sketch. This time, we'll skip the simply for mobile header file, include the simplycom header file, and define a few variables to keep track of pins, LED status, and button presses. The setup function looks similar to our master sketch, so we'll skip right to the loop function. Just like our master sketch, we'll check our buttons and send a packet to the master if something's changed. The only other function we need is the simplycom on receive function, which changes the LED if we receive a packet from the master node. That's it, let's try it out. Program the sketches to your two simply breakout boards using the USB shield. Keep one node connected to your computer and assemble the other with an LED button shield and the AAA battery shield. Power everything up and let's open the app. First, try using the buttons on the master node, then the slave node. You should see the LED update on both nodes as well as the mobile interface. Try touching the rectangle on the mobile application, and the LED should change as well. Thanks for tuning in as we walk through Simbly's dual mode. For more videos like this, visit our Simbly YouTube channel. And for more information about our products, visit Simbly.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.